through town the other day and this woman actually asked me to lend her £2.99. Sorry. Lend? Yeah, lend. Like, was I going to see her again? Was she a homeless person? No, I don't think so. And what did you say? I said, no, I cannot lend you £2.99. Like, I was going to see her again the next day and get it back. Cheek for some people, honestly. I bet she makes a right good living out of it. I very much doubt that. Oh, what would you have done? Well, uh, just depends on the circumstances. Oh, Mr. Generosity. Well, life throws up these small dilemmas. I wouldn't say it was actually a dilemma, Roy. I mean, had she been destitute with a couple of kids with no shoes on, then maybe I would have reconsidered, but... But she was just a stranger. Yeah, so she could sling her up. Of course, if Aidan and Kate don't prove to be a match, you might well be relying on the generosity of strangers. I guess we'll find out soon enough, won't we? Should I have lent her the 2 then? I'm sure it doesn't work like that. You are very benevolent and warm-hearted. But what goes around comes around. Uh, don't rely on pat little proverbs. Then what should I rely on, Roy? For now, look. I don't want to talk about this today. I don't want to, want to deal with it. Why don't we do something fun? Let's close the cafe and go out for uh, model trains or something. Uh, I, I, I'm afraid that's really not possible, but however appealing it might sound, I need to go down, open up the cafe. Just try and relax. Jesus said them dumb. Venus flytrap in an effort to win her back. Is that what you're telling me? OK, so that wouldn't wash with you, then, I take it? I wouldn't be ripping my clothes off, no. All right. What time do you knock off? Uh, just after lunch, why? Right? Hey. Because I'm bored stiff. Do you fancy doing something? Like what? I don't know, bowling. <laughs> bowling? Shopping. Oh, I was just going to laze around at the flat. Can I come? Are you serious? Oh, I've got nowhere to be. I've got no job. Well, the flat's a bit of a state. You should have seen mine. Well, no, I mean, if you really are that bored, then, yeah, you're welcome to. Believe me, I am. OK, so you've just got to remember that we've not actually been listed in Good Housekeeping magazine, <laughs> so you're going to have to keep your nasty comments to yourself. Don't worry, I'll be a good girl. It's abridged. You're a chip off the old block, aren't you? Ken always had his face in a book. You used to have to say everything twice. Hey! I said you used to have to say everything twice to your dad. Oh, uh, yeah. No wonder he thinks the sun shines out of your backside. You're like the last great hope, mind you. The other two aren't going to amount to much, were they? What makes you think that I will? Well, the worst thing you could do is hang around here. So why did you come back? I miss a hot pot. No, you didn't. No, I didn't, you're right. Although I did miss certain friends and family and, you know, a factory over the road. I miss that, if you can possibly believe it. Yeah, because you know you like something out of Elizabeth Gaskell. <laughs> Why do I get the feeling you're making fun of me? Because I am. Oh. I think you should advertise for a maid. I think you'll find that I do most of it myself. I can see that. No, actually, in my defence, most of this mess is Adam's. <clears throat> you all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. I just... I stayed up all night with Roy, putting the world's right. The odd couple? Yeah. I could do with the lie down on your sofa. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. No, I'll put the kettle on. Oh, I thought you'd never ask. So I'm not getting any way, am I? No, not at all. 